Our Dr. Darian is looking at medical questions that you are asking at home. And the first question right here is, what can cause hypoglycemia, even if I am not diabetic? That's from Ashley V. So hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, we all can be susceptible to it. Of course, those who are taking things like insulin are more susceptible. There are certain things, though, that we all can do that decrease our sugar, so we have to pay attention. First and foremost, excessive physical activity. When you're exercising, your body converts glucose or sugar to that energy, and so that can run you low. So it's important to eat after exercising. Also, drinking alcohol, especially if you're drinking on an empty stomach, mm -hmm. you're more likely to have hypoglycemia, which can lead to dizziness, fatigue, and worse hangovers. And then also malnutrition of course uh, not eating enough if you're just not eating enough complex carbohydrates and you're likely to have low sugar and if you're sticking to those sweets you're just gonna have spikes and just drops and it's gonna make you feel horrible so does it matter uh, you know morning versus uh, evening should you have something to eat in the morning I know a lot of people fast yeah you know I think that there are benefits to fasting there's pluses and minuses to both I think everyone should work with their physician, also with their trainer and their physical activity and their tolerance to figure out what's best. But I'm a morning eater. I, I like to start my day with some type of food. I really don't do well fasting. Sorry, I'm laughing because my takeaway from all of this was eat before you drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that would be right. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> if you heard it here first. Hey, first no. Um, your prescription for wellness. Uh, my prescription for wellness is uh, trouble swallowing pills. So I didn't know this until I became a physician and work with patients, but up to 40% of people say that they have difficulty swallowing pills so there's some simple things we can do number one changing the texture if you put your pill in applesauce or pudding it can help to change to change the texture I know those who have children at home already know this by heart also cutting it in smaller pieces but if you do that just make sure you check with the pharmacist so because some medications should not and cannot be cut up and then lastly asking the pharmacist if they can create that medication in a different form powders creams liquids it's always possible and I work with pharmacists every day with patients who have motility uh, disorders where they can't swallow properly and to get them the appropriate medications so that they can be compliant and take it as prescribed. And I called it horse pills because some of them are so huge. Fish oil. Yes, some you of know? them are very large. And, and some vitamins, yeah. Some, some antibiotics, I have to give warnings. And I, I will admit, even certain, certain medications, I'm always like, wow, that is a very large pill. <laughs> That's a large pill. <laughs> That's That's a long pill. Doctor, thank you. And folks, we'd love to hear from you, so hit us up on Instagram with all of your medical questions at ABC GMA3. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.